hi guys <laughs> welcome back to my channel i'm sydney if you're new and my voice doesn't always sound like this i'm actually sick right now it's super rainy and gloomy and very good fall vibes but yeah and you're probably like why the hell are you filming why are you talking i hope you can like bear with me and my voice isn't like annoying or uncomfortable if it is you can go watch one of my other videos where my voice is normal i have had this like chest i honestly have been sick since last today is thursday october 6th and i have been i have been um sick since friday last friday i how did that go yeah thursday night i thursday night i went to um dylan's house after work because there was no school on friday because it was truth and reconciliation day and i like woke up in the middle of the night and i was like oh my throat's sore and then friday i didn't feel good i just felt drained and achy and i um had a huge nap not a huge nap but i just kind of like ended up like falling asleep um in the middle of the day and having a nap and that helped um i also suffer from pmdd so that's like um it's premenstrual dysphoric disorder which sounds pretty much as awful as it is and i feel like it gets downplayed a lot because it's like oh you're just pmsing no it's awful and i was on antidepressants for it and then i just never renewed the prescription that was three ish years ago anyway so i was like in just like a bad mood last weekend and i felt sick but it was always like just my throat was sore and I was tired and like I felt it coming on um, but it was really just bad in the middle of the night like when I woke up I was like oh my throat really hurts and like it's a type of like my throat was sore that it felt like like every time I swallowed I was just like I don't know it, it felt like I would eventually it eventually would go away like pretty quick it didn't seem severe yeah I went to work on Monday and I was fine like i still had the sore throat but like i wasn't stuffy in this like i wasn't sneezing i was monday I, I i don't like i thought oh this is the tail end of it and then i woke up tuesday and had no voice and it wasn't like i had no vo it sounded like this and i was like i went to work and i like halfway through the day i was like i don't feel good but i'm the type of person to just like carry on through the day like it wasn't like i didn't feel good but it wasn't affecting my work i don't think and i was like i just have to get through today kind of was my mentality and like my co-workers were like you look awful like you look like you're sick and i was like i don't feel good but like i'm fine um and then my voice throughout the day progressively got worse and it was like I was getting annoyed with it because like I thought in the morning because like I wake up in the morning I don't have I don't talk because I'm here alone right now like in my house I live with my parents but they aren't staying here because they're staying with my grandparents right now like I didn't have a chance to really talk I knew what I I was losing my voice because like I could tell and like when I was like I talked to myself sometimes so then I was like oh I'm kind of losing my voice but when I got to work, like, I was there for maybe 20 minutes. I'm like, this is going to annoy the hell out of me. And throughout the day, like, my voice just kept, because I was talking so much, my voice kept getting worse and worse and worse. And, like, at the end of the day, I was like, and, like, I work with kids, so, like, you have to use your voice a lot. And I'd be, like, talking to kids and, like, it, I was like, I'm not getting my point across because this is what I sound like. So then I didn't go to work yesterday because my voice was completely gone um, and I didn't talk all day yesterday i tried to talk to my sister for like a little bit and i was like i can't um and then today i was like my voice is still gone every time i talk for a little bit i need to cough and it just sounds and looks like i have covid and like i don't want parents to think i'm working with covid i don't have covid i've tested myself i a um, crazy amount of times if um you're new here i'm in school right now to my first step is i'm be going to school to be an early childhood educator i work in pre-primary right now so i'm finishing up my level one um like right now it's kind of weird how they did it i'm in one my last um class to get like my level one it's considered which is like the first there's like entry level which is what i am now to work with kids and then um level one so then your pay goes up 
and then level two your pay goes up um and then there's a level three i'm in level one right now i'm in my final class so tomorrow's my last day to like hand everything in <coughs> and then assuming i pass fingers crossed because my grades for that class aren't the best um i will have my level one then i'm in i'm in two classes at a time my second class is a level two class so it's kind of weird because i'm like finishing my level one but also starting my level two at the same time um and i honestly think that the level two class has been easier so beats me yeah, there's been a whole lot of stuff surrounding my level one that's like been frustrating but it's honestly like my school's asynchronous online i take two classes and i have six weeks to do all the work they basically divide it in the six weeks and they say like you have to do one thing a week well like one unit a week which is sometimes like one assignment and a quiz an assignment and a discussion post and then you have like two of those so you have like two to four things to do a week all together and yeah um my classes end tomorrow for like this section i'm in now i feel like since there's no lectures or anything it is i like that because i am an independent learner but at the same time i do feel like there has been instances where like i've been confused with com communication stuff and i'm getting better at reaching out to my teachers now because i wasn't at the beginning because i'm just i was scared to like i don't i have like this issue where i don't like looking like i don't know what i'm doing which is like awful i'm, I'm very self-aware i'm not in therapy but i'm in school my two classes end tomorrow so i need to finish i think all i have left is i have two assignments left and two quizzes so i'll do one assignment today and one quiz and then finish my last one tomorrow my last quiz and assignment tomorrow I'm really frustrated because I don't want to be sick tomorrow, but this is my voice and I feel like I can't work and I'm not going to be a good member to society if I sound like this. It's just 1 o'clock right now, so I think I'm just going to like, I'm watching YouTube right now trying to get like inspiration. I have a lot of videos I want to film of like, just like sit down and talking. I know I've been sit down talking for a really large chunk of this vlog so far but like i have videos i specifically just want to sit down and talk focus on me okay i need to pause i actually lost my remote under my clothes i have a blanket over my mirror because the cat in the middle of the night likes to come and um like scratch on the mirror if that makes sense um i'm putting away here let me um these are all like my summer dresses and like i have shirts um i have shorts and skirts and stuff in here and then i threw all all my wintery clothes were in this so i'm like swapping that out so i have to fold all my dresses and stuff and then this is just stuff i'm hanging up my closet's a mess because half of my stuff's in a storage locker so let's just ignore that um i had all my shorts and skirts here my dress is here um and then i went through my shirts all these clothes on the floor here are what i need to like give away and donate but again my storage situation's kind of messed up like these are my bed sheets because i don't have a linen closet in this house but yeah these are all my pants so i'm gonna like put leggings and like active wear on one and then like jeans and nicer pants perhaps i keep saying perhaps instead of maybe and i think it's because i keep doing schoolwork um and like if that sounds like a better word when i'm writing but yeah i'm just doing that right now hi guys it's the next day i feel like my voice is doing a lot better but i it's not back to normal um i need to go grocery shopping right now which i'm a little stressed out about because like i called in sick to work it's so dark in here. I called in sick to work, so I don't want people to see me at the grocery store and be like, what the fuck? But I have no groceries here, and I need to eat. A girl's gotta eat. I actually don't listen to that podcast. Look at, I'm wearing this thrifted hoodie, my new Lululemon lines, um, the mall, not the nearest mall to me, but like the nice mall in like the city, which is like an hour away from me. 
but I have to pass it every Friday to when I go see Dylan. Um, and they got a Lululemon because the closest Lululemon was like downtown and it was hard to get to and I never went there. Dylan makes fun of me because he's like, it's really not that hard to get to. I'm not a city girl yet. I will be. I went to that Lululemon because I need it. I didn't need black lines, but I have no good black leggings and I haven't had black lines for like a year or two. And I'm like, they last so long and they're so comfortable and they just like fit the nicest. I find I got some airy leggings and they don't stay up um, as good and they're like thinner. I just, anyway, so I bought these and I bought purple ones. I'll show you. This is becoming a tangent. I also got these. I still have the tag on them because I haven't worn them yet. Um, when I was in like high school, I thrifted a pair that were like kind of close to this color. It's such a beautiful color. And they were reversible. They weren't aligned, I don't think. They were different. They were Lululemon though. And I thrifted them or I bought them used or secondhand or something. So they're giving very much that vibe, but I was very drawn to this color. I was in between getting these and like the hot pink ones. I don't know the color. I'm not that big of a fan. Which like I went, I had to go to the mall to get my MacBook because I got a new MacBook. Also, if you're watching this and you know anybody that would want to buy my old MacBook, let me know because I need to sell that. Um, it's a 2017. It still works. Um, I just need a new one because I do all my school on my laptop and I do YouTube and like storage wise and stuff and it's just an older laptop and i use my laptop a lot so i use the education pricing to buy this one but this is the new it's already like got cat hair on it i got the space gray she's so cute um the like beef i have is like not really good beef but i was like it's just like i you buy a new apple product and then like you just use icloud and then it's looks the exact same as your old one you know what i mean like i got this phone um in august because i severely broke my other one i dylan was like i don't even know what he was doing and i like did this to him to hit him with my phone and he put his elbow up and hit his elbow and he said that broke your phone and i was like no it didn't and i looked at the front of my phone i hit him with the back of my phone and the front of my phone was like protruding like his elbow went through my phone and i was like and so my sister was working at East Link. She just recently left to sell cars. So she was working at East Link. Went, so I went and she like helped me get a new phone. And um, like everybody was like looking at the phone, my old phone, and like taking pictures of it. And they're like, I've never seen anything like this. And I was like, <laughs> yeah. And then they ask and I'm like, oh, I hit my boyfriend and his elbow went through my phone. So then they're thinking I like smashed my boyfriend with my phone. But the phone I had was a 12 Pro Max and it shattered. The back was already shattered before I hit him with it. Um, it shattered like the like first week I got it because I was sitting on like a child sized chair and it was on my leg and it slid off. I had an OtterBox on it. It hit the corner on the ground and we it was a see-through um, OtterBox and we literally watched it go and I went no fucking way um and i just never thought i never reached out to otterbox or like asked anybody to fix it because i was like it's not affecting the phone in any way um and yeah so i just left it be because i had to pay to fix it either way like with um i didn't have apple care i had like the east link care i just thought it's not worth fixing yeah so i then like there's all the stuff about both them being defective like the 12 pro maxes like around the time i bought them and I just like never really cared anyway so then when I went I sold my broken phone to this guy who repairs phones he just bought it for parts and stuff and I honestly he paid like a decent amount for it um so I was like very pleased with that he paid like the amount I owed on my phone in the contract so like it worked out well um and he um was like I've never seen a phone in this shitty condition like what happened and he's been doing that for so long like when i was in grade 10 my phone screen broke and he's the guy that fixed it he like knows my dad so to have someone who's been doing phones for like at least how many years is that seven years um and telling me my phone was the worst and then i have to tell him oh yeah i like hit my boyfriend with it and then it sounds like i was like being mean but i was like a joking little oh, stop that 
anyway it did really hurt his elbow so I guess I'm stronger than I think I got white I wish I got black I had black on my old one um and then I like my watch my apple watch is black and or space gray and my macbook is space gray now but I got white because my sister's like no white looks really good with a clear case and I wanted a clear case so I got white and I'm like ah, I wish I got black because like can you tell by the fit um anyway I like how I did my hair I have my tin beans hat on I couldn't find um my like beanies and my hats and then I, I just like was kind of getting stressed I looked for them yesterday because I switched remember when I switched on the clothes up um and I couldn't find them and I was like are they in my storage locker anyway I found them I put them in those random spot and I don't even know how I found them I was just like looking and I was like oh anyway so I got this on this hoodie um my little lemon my lines oh and I also bought this while I was waiting in the check of Lululemon this was one of this like little key thing because I had like something to clip on my keys from like American Eagle but I didn't have it on my keys I just had it in here and I didn't like it because it wasn't as organized I feel like this is more organized and it matches my keys but my keys are in my car right now so I can't show you and it matches this like Lululemon Lululemon my key ring is like the giant lululemon key ring that's like in the same green i think it's a little bit of a different green but close enough got it in toronto when i was supposed to see justin bieber but he canceled um so i'm gonna go get groceries can you tell i haven't talked to people in like so long i'm like dylan is coming up early because he is sick today because he played basketball last night and he hurt his knee and his leg like one knee and then the other leg and he has a bit of a stuffy nose because we were hanging out last weekend when I started getting this so I was like it's gonna catch up to you so I don't know if he's getting this or he's just stuffy I don't really know but he's gonna come up a little earlier it's 10 30 now he said he'd be here around 1 or 12 to 1 around then because he wanted to see the stock market open so whenever he gets here I'm gonna go get groceries before he gets here I have school work to do I didn't do I like started a project or an assignment yesterday so I have to finish that assignment do another assignment that I started but I didn't do it how I liked so I have to kind of redo that and I have two quizzes and then I'm done I also did my nails last night did I share that I added just like um gel like literal gel on top of them the natural nail because I didn't want them to break and then I added like gel polish to do like I just did like a sheer pink and then the French the French isn't that good I'm never I've never been good at French um but like I think it's pretty good for someone that's not good at doing French okay I'm sweating because I have Uggs and a hat on inside but I need to go to the grocery store and get some things and then I'm going to clean up and do some schoolwork or something Ugh. Now watch this. Look who's waiting for me. Hi, honey. Penner. <laughs> oh no. We've just gone for a few minutes to the grocery store. The lights in here. Hit the lights. Let the music move you. I probably shouldn't be singing with my vocal condition right now. Okay, I'm back from the grocery store, obviously. And I'm gonna do a little haul. Um, I wore a mask in there to be stealthy, and then Dylan FaceTimed me while I was in the store. The first thing I bought was lemonade because I was drinking this lemonade. I was adding it to my tea because I had no lemon juice to add to my tea, and that helps your throat. And then I found that we had this. I drank this whole thing in the past four days, and I, if you know me, only drink water and coffee. I'm trying to not drink coffee, but. Honestly, I found out that coffee brings me joy. I don't drink pop. I don't, it just gives me anxiety. So I just need to know when to drink coffee and when to not drink coffee. I'm going to have coffee now. Um, I haven't had coffee in over a week. Anyway, I got this lemonade. I really do like the PC lemonade. I checked the ingredients to see what was in it. And it just says water cane, sugar, lemon juice, and natural flavor. I know natural flavor can be anything they want it to be, but... Not too bad of ingredients. Then I bought, <clears throat> speaking of ingredients, I bought Cool Whip, which is like just oil, which a lot of people don't know that it's oil. Oh, 
It's coconut oil. I guess that's not as scary. Water, sugar. Okay, yeah, it says coconut and palm oil, but I got this because my mom had brought, um, went to Costco the other day and got a Costco pumpkin pie. You know those are huge. And like they, her and my grandparents only ate like a quarter of it and then she brought it here for Dylan and I for this weekend. So I really like whipped cream on my pumpkin pie if I'm gonna have some. I'm kind of over the pumpkin thing. Like pumpkin cold foam, I don't like it. And last year when I had it, it really upset my stomach and I was like, and then this year I had it with a chai and like it was too much. And I find I used to hate chai and now I do like chai, but it's like hit or miss. Um, and I had chai with the pumpkin cold foam. I'm like, whoa, there's too much going on right now. So I usually like am really good with grocery shopping. I spend $60 every week for my groceries. That's my budget. Um, and then I go to Dylan's on the weekend. And then we kind of split groceries, however, or we just eat out. And so this is my first time going to get groceries for a weekend with Dylan in a while. And I, my love language is acts of service and I love cooking for people. I love cooking. I wanna like really actually like dig into that interest a little more. So for our meals, I don't have lunches planned cause we could have leftovers or we could go out. But I got a sourdough ball bowl. It's a loaf of sourdough without being sliced and I'm going to for a snack tonight have that with some brie then i bought these ciabatta um things for um sandwiches dylan and i our first date was at this restaurant in a best western here um and they make a chicken ciabatta avocado sandwich um with dill, dill mayo and i'm gonna try to recreate that it's what I had on our first date. He got a quesadilla, which like he's never had a quesadilla in the two years we've been dating. So I don't know why the fuck he got a quesadilla. I got this to make that. Obviously, like we're going to like cut these in half and then each have a half of these. So we'll have a whole thing left so we can have that for lunch tomorrow. I got light cream. See, I like doing it in the order of the recipes. So on the sandwiches, I'm pretty sure at the restaurant that for bacon, they use prosciutto. I, it's just a hunch in my soul um, because it's prosciutto on the sandwich. It's it's. Anyway, I got prosciutto to fry up to put as my bacon, but I asked Dylan and he thought that that was wrong. So he wants bacon bacon on his sandwich. So I bought bacon bacon. And then I bought obviously chicken breast to put on the sandwich. I think we could just make two and I'm gonna like flatten them out and cut them in half, like butterfly them maybe, I don't know. You want the chicken pretty thin. He also was telling me that the chicken is cut up in the sandwich, which is wrong. And I don't know why he ever questioned me when I introduced him to that place. Okay, then I got penne. Oh, penne. Because I'm going to make penne a la vodka without the vodka. Because my dad has every liquor you could imagine in this house. Except vodka. But I always just make it with no vodka in it. That's why I got cream. And then I'm going to make meatballs with it. I saw Maggie McDonald make it with meatballs. I made it with meatballs this summer when we were camping. And it was... Chef's kiss. Um, then I got dill for the dill mayo for the sandwiches. Um, then I got red pepper jelly, which is so like slimy. Anyway, red pepper jelly for on top of this brie. Um, tomato paste. My onion for my, which one call it? I got asparagus for to have on the side of our sandwiches because we both like asparagus. I was gonna make sweet potato fries and then I saw asparagus was on sale and it's healthier, so. Avocado for sandwiches. And then a lemon for my aioli. And that's what I bought and it was 92 fucking dollars. I'm gonna put my groceries away and then I'll talk to you after. Hi, life update, Dylan's here. And we got KFC chicken tenders. I don't think this is share with the world worthy also. It is to me. But they have no honey mustard. They did give you lots of horsey sauce. And then we went to, we went to, Dylan went to, our and got curly fries, so that's our meal with horsey sauce. I need to make honey mustard now. I'm All doing schoolwork right now. I'm, I'm gonna film some I'm buying stocks. I don't want to be in your video. I Two seconds you. later. <laughs> I don't. Mm -hmm. That's twice now. I just like to point out. Three times. <laughs> um, 
I'm doing schoolwork. Um, I found this life hack. Life hack if you are in school and you want really cute PowerPoints, use Canva and just search PowerPoint. And make sure well, if you are bougie and want to pay for them, go ahead. I just use the free ones. But they're so cute. Like look at look at that. And I can change the colors if I don't like them. But Dylan said the colors are very fall, and they are. A little bit so I might just keep that. position that he plays because oh, he's on the intent. And I think they're going to have a hard time dealing with his phone rushes like the one on two brain rushes. That's a good song. So if you just lick chops, go. Lick chops, go. Everybody, I need to. My voice is still like. I'm gonna pause this. Um, hello. I'm not used to holding this camera. I usually have it on a tripod. Um, but it's Sunday now. I didn't really vlog yesterday because Dylan was sick and like we weren't doing anything. But an update on my school. I was up until 11:30 doing it because I'm a procrastinator and. I was this close to not being done everything like I was working really hard on this one project and it was almost done I just had to like put all the pictures I had on it and then um, like spell check everything and then I had a whole assignment and a quiz to do so then I was like okay cut this I'm going to do the assignment I haven't done yet and the quiz and like have those done and then I can like quickly do the rest so yeah I finished at 11 30 and I was up until like 2 because like after I was done school like my brain had been focused on that for so long that I just like needed to put my mind on something else so I did um I cleaned the kitchen like cleaned the kitchen Dylan went to bed at like 8 because he wasn't feeling good and then I slept in my parents room just so that because the dogs were here and I didn't want the dogs and the cat and me to disturb him so I slept in my parents room and then yesterday all day Dylan wasn't feeling good and I was super tired because I woke up when Dylan woke up and obviously since he went to bed at 8 he woke up pretty early um, so I woke up at the same time because I wanted to like take care of him and I didn't need to do that but I just felt like um, like I made him a little bed on the couch and stuff and I made him tea and then I was like oh I'll have a nap later and then he had a nap and I just kept going. I'm making, it's only like 10 right now but I'm gonna make leftover supper I had last night. I made penne ale vodka with no vodka in it because my dad doesn't have vodka here. I did tell you that I was making that um, and I forgot to make it with garlic bread last night. And so like all morning, I've been like, mm, garlic bread would be so good with that. So I'm gonna have some leftovers of that, just a small bowl and some garlic bread. But Dylan's showering right now, and then we're gonna watch the Green Bay game, uh, like the football game, because he likes Green Bay. And I just need to tidy up and stuff. I was gonna go to a coffee shop and get a coffee and then go to the beach. I don't know if I'm gonna do that still. Maybe Dylan will wanna do that with me. Yeah, I'll check in with you guys later.